What makes your honey so good? I think it's so good because it's from the Kootenays. <laughs> In the creamed honey division, they're looking for smoothness, creaminess. They're looking that there's no dust or uh, any little particles or debris in the honey. You submit four jars in some, one show and three in the other. There's no labels on it, so it's a blind judging. And they look for fingerprints. They look at the lid. So if you have a little dent in the lid, that'll be a mark off. <laughs> But most of all, it's the flavor, it's the taste, it's the creaminess, it's got to be smooth, smooth, smooth. It's really the work of the bees and it's the greatest reward we get uh, when we're beekeeping is at the end of season, uh, when we're extracting that honey and that liquid gold is coming. Our honey will taste different than honey maybe in the Okanagan or the Lower Mainland. But um, I think it's all the things that combine the love, just the purity, raw honey of it. <laughs> Fireweed honey is where there has been a clear cut or a forest fire. And it's the, sort of the first vegetation that grows up uh, in on the mountains. Beekeepers were notorious for keeping our location secret and quiet. Our fireweed, which got a blue ribbon, was auctioned off. The auctioneer was also one of the honey judges, and he said that we got a perfect score on this honey. He hadn't tasted creamed honey like this in over 20 years, in his opinion and the other judges, that it was the best to get best in show. And as the numbers were going past 250 US, <laughs> the three, four, five, six, ended what? at 650 US a jar. Come on. So is your way, $650. So when people complain to me, if they think my honey prices are high, I'm gonna say, not high enough if I can sell it for <laughs> yeah. 650. <laughs> There is a real love for the bee. I'm always learning. The bees just teach us to be calm and cool and collected. And uh, the reward is the honey. And it's so wonderful to talk about um, the beautiful side of beekeeping.